Hey there, welcome friends, Sister Cerise here. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my channel. Guys, I gotta tell you, Khloe Kardashian, what is she going through? Yes, she has given these men, Lamar and Tristan, way too much of her precious time because they don't seem to appreciate her as much as she deserves to be appreciated. Let's pull a card on her personality. Okay, this is actually quite interesting. And it pretty much is explaining what she's going through right now as a person and character. She's going through a lot of changes. She's willing to move forward right now past her relationship with Tristan and all of the issues that were going on there because he did cheat on her with the family friend Jordan. You know, Jordan still hasn't apologized. She apologized on television and she said she's sorry for what she has done, but she still hasn't contacted Chloe herself and she has Chloe's phone number or even any of the girls' phone numbers, Kylie, Jenner, or Kendall, and she can call and contact them and you know, just pretty much give her apologies for the drama that she started. You know, she's not very apologetic about it. She says she apologizes, but she's ready to move on from it. And she's not realizing, you know, the damage and the carnage that she caused in the life of Chloe. Chloe has a baby named True with Tristan. So imagine what she went through when this family friend cheated on her and also her man cheated on her. That's not cool, you know, especially what she went through with Lamar. So Chloe's at a point in her life right now where she's willing and ready to bring change to her life. She is on the horse. Now, this death card does not represent death. What it represents is bringing an end to the current state of circumstances. She is ready to move forward. She's ready to say goodbye to the pain of the past. She is also a person that can reincarnate herself quite easily. And I don't mean after death. I mean reorganize her life and move past this. She already went through it with Lamar. And now... She's ready to do it with Tristan. This is an awesome woman. She's spiritual. She doesn't want to hold hate or harbor any animosity. She wants to get over all of the pain of the past. Let's pull a card on Tristan and see where his head is. Okay, so he's also ready. He's been ready. He's already been thinking along single lines. Um, and he's pretty confident with his life right now. He's very passionate about where his career is and what he's doing with himself. And he's also very passionate with what he is doing in his personal life. He knows that him and Chloe had have their, have had their ups and downs, and he's sorry for what he did. But he also knows that their relationship with them is just kind of old. He feels like Chloe really wanted marriage and children, and she really wanted to settle down more than him. He knew that she was a good choice for him and that she would be stable, secure, and also a great mother to his children. But he was not in the position where he was ready to settle down. He's more of a bachelor type of guy, and he's taken his bachelor lifestyle back. Now, he may work his way back into her life again within the next maybe six, seven months, because she does want another baby. She definitely does. Now, her body means a lot to her, and she's worked on her body a lot. But, you know, she may want another baby, and Tristan, he's going to surprise her a lot. This card represents somebody that has a lot of suddenness. They do things out of the blue. They can be charming as well. So there's the possibility that he will charm her again, and he will, you know, kind of get on, on her good side and in her heart. 
but it wouldn't be any more than one more time. And it wouldn't happen in the future. It would only happen in the near future because her heart is still feeling good. Let's see the outcome. Let's do the past, present, and future of their entire relationship. All right, so we have the past, present, future. Let's first pull the past. Oh, so they even started out a little shaky and rocky. They even did feel like it was a tough go for them, although they felt like they had success and they had more determination. They knew it was going to be a tough relationship from the beginning, probably because of his schedule, and he most likely knew that he wasn't necessarily ready for what Chloe was ready for. But Chloe, she was determined, and so was he, because again, he knew that Chloe was a really good woman, and she is a wonderful mate, so he thought, why not? So yes, this relationship, it had a lot of fluctuation. Let's go to the present. Okay, so presently, they are actually getting along. They're trying to keep the peace. She realizes that he cannot give her what she needs. She's a lot more confident with herself right now. So she's feeling like she can give and take a little bit, like things are more balanced. She loves her daughter, True, and she wants the best for her daughter. And her daughter really loves her dad, Tristan. So at the end of the day, this is something good for the two of them to be getting along right now. Let's look at the future. Not so bad. Not so bad. Both of them are going to move on. She's going to find a new man that's going to offer her strength and long-term relationship. He's going to love her. He may be a little bit older, and he also may not be in... Uh, a, a position of traveling the world all the time and if he is like a basketball player like how her ex Lamar was and also Tristan is um, so if she does meet another baller or somebody that travels a lot she will be going with him her and true Tristan you know, his future, he's going to find someone as well. And he's also going to find a long-term relationship and have more children. But he's going to do that eventually. It seems like he's going to play around, do his, his little thing and, you know, have fun. He may shock everyone and get someone else pregnant, but it would just be a scandal and it wouldn't last for a while. It's going to take a little while longer than... Um, for him than Chloe to find a serious mate. Chloe is a very good, very good woman. And she's a great choice for any man that's willing to settle down and be with her because she's loyal. She's smart. She's in business. She's a great mom. And she is looking for a long-term relationship. So there we go, guys. Tristan and Chloe will not be having a long-term relationship, even if they do have a little re reunion. It's not going to last for long. And for sure, Chloe will be happy. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And take a moment to press that like button. I really appreciate it when you do because it lets me know what type of content you like when I upload. Take care, everyone. Huge hugs. Loads of love. Big blesses.